So today I just wanted to show the difference between sword suckers and water suckers. So this is a water sucker, and it's called a water sucker because it's very loose. See, it grows very slowly, and it's just not healthy. This thing's probably been there for months. And this is a sword sucker. You can see nice, thin leaves. And when it has thin leaves, that means it's still getting nutrition from the mother plant there. So it doesn't have to fend for itself. This one has to fend for itself. And that's why it's so weak. And with the roots, I'm just going to see it's easy to yank out of there. It has a very small corm. Whereas these sword suckers have a very large corm. Check out the size of the corm there. This plant is the same size as that one, and check out the size of the corm on that one and on that one. So that's what makes these water suckers so weak. And there's another example over here, a very stark difference. This is a water sucker. It's very small and weak and has these large, pretty, but not healthy looking leaves. And that is a sword sucker. You see again, if I pull this out, well it wouldn't come out, it just broke off, but look, there's like barely any corm on there. I'm sure there's a little bit, but that's just so weak. So that's the video for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.